Welcome to today's Semi Raw video, where we are here in my office, about to do a little bit of maintenance. Sorry, I had to, hands were being used to carry vacuum cleaners and other stuff, so I put the air compressor hose around my neck. Yes, we have an air compressor in my office right now. But that aside, um, we're gonna be changing stuff in here today. Um, this whole entire desk is gonna go. Uh, this is my rig and everything that I kind of use for editing and live streaming and whatnot. Um, I guess this would be like a pretty typical kind of like YouTuber's office setup or studio. Like I've got parts everywhere, especially in this corner is just full of like crazy expensive parts that need to go on cars and stuff in the future. Um, and then I have like some slippers apparently over here. I was wondering where these went. <laughs> um, and like the stuff I want to set up for my racing sim, um, a Brid seat. RC stuff, a drone in that box, like, just like, oh yeah, there's hard drives there that I need to sort through. <laughs> okay, maybe it's a bit messy. Um, also, we need to put this on the S15, this thing looks so good. Um, that aside, um, my first agenda today is to clean out my computer. It's been, uh, it's been a while, I took the side cover off it the other day, and uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty dusty in there, so we're gonna clean it up. This is just a pre-built system, I didn't build this one. Um, you can see like inside the power supply that's pretty dusty and like there's even like dust here on the casing but like in here it just kind of i mean it doesn't look that bad on camera but maybe if you can see there there's just dust everywhere yeah so we're going to go through and clean that out um and then i'll uh move everything out including this desk like everything's got to come out we've got two new desks to build today um which we'll go through later but for now let's just clean out the computer and go from there i guess so it's probably really, really loud right now, but I've got the vacuum clean here and I'm trying to suck up as much dust that comes out of this as possible. But uh, she's pretty dirty. Especially this fan. I don't know if you can see just how much is coming out of the back of the system. It's really important as well when you're using stuff like an air compressor to clean dust out of a computer. You don't, um, you don't like put it, you know, super close to the components like this with full blue like air. You want to be a good distance away from it so you don't cause any damage because you can do that. And you don't want to cause condensation with compressed air. Let's see if we can get you a good shot of this power supply. There's gonna be a lot of dust coming out of this. Oh my gosh. Ugh. It's casually dying here. So as you can see, been a little bit busy now. We've already got one of the little like table things out. Um, these things were so short to the ground, even with the little adjusters maxed all the way out, I had to use blocks of wood to bring this table up high enough. Um, and, and then the other issue is, is just the way this thing is designed with this thing under here for cables to sit on, it was just terrible because my knees would forever hit that. And then this bar along the base here meant that I couldn't clamp down my wheel for my sim set. It was a disaster, man. So anyways, uh, these were given to us, so no complaints whatsoever. They served their purpose for the time that we needed them. So that's about it, I guess. And we're gonna finish getting this one out of here. Uh, I'm gonna vacuum the floors and clean everything up a bit more, probably get rid of the bread box and stuff like that. And a whole bunch of parts that are inside that as well. And then uh, we'll start setting up the new tables. We've got two desks, one for me and May. We're thinking of putting them both in the middle, side by side, and the back will be facing the wall. So if I'm streaming or she's streaming, um, you guys will get to see a wall and I'll be setting up probably a green screen on my side so that we can do something cool with that. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I need to do some more cleaning and sort out this shelf here and probably get another load of shelves too for parts. You can see like all my spare G7Xs and boxes up there and stuff. And yeah, anyways, gonna get back to it, keep cleaning, and uh, we'll start building these desks. All right guys, so the relationship ending part of today's video has begun, which is assembling IKEA furniture. Are you excited? Hey, get your hands all off Alex. Stop touching Alex inappropriately. 
in front of me, your husband. I can't believe you touch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the cringe right now. If you didn't get it, this thing is called Alex. I'm sure it's actually pronounced something else in Swedish, and you guys can tell me in the comment section. If this camera ever wants to focus, then you'll see that its name is actually Alex. Why did they there put we go. it all together? All together? Because then it makes it easier, I guess. Not for us. Uh, no, I think it's good. I mean, I'd rather it all together than individual bags. It'd be such a pain. Anyways, we're going to go through and pull all this out. We've got two chests of drawers to build because that's one side of each desk. Then we have a whole bunch of poles and stuff in that box. And then we got the bench tops there. This is going to be a long process, isn't it? You're going to be getting very intimate with Alex. Yeah. I'm going to go get a drink. Well, um, I don't know if you can tell around us, but we have two drawers built. There's one, and then there's another one behind me. Um, and now we're working on the tabletop. So we didn't just get like a, a table kit build like thing from Ikea. We got a bunch of different parts from different things and we're putting it all together. Um, this is because of one, Japan tabletops are just weird with heights and stuff for like, they're just, they're just meant for small people. Um, so the way this works is normally this bench has one, two, three, four, five of these legs here, right? And these adjustable to a full meters length, which is awesome. Um, but normally two on each end and one in the center here, but because this is going to be a computer desk, um, we need this space for our legs. So this actually gets moved back. Now I can't take all the credit for this. Um, I actually got this whole desk build idea and stuff from, um, a YouTuber here in Japan. Her name is Serena and she has a really good channel. She's pretty much, she's like Linus Tech Tips, but Japanese and a girl and she owns an S15. That's how I found her actually. Um, YouTube recommended me a video of hers when she bought her S15. So I'm trying, I'm hoping to, in the future to get in contact with her and maybe we can take her drifting, which would be super cool. Um, but yeah, anyways, she did a full video on how to build this desk and that's pretty much where I got the parts list from and everything. So I'm pretty much following everything that she did. And what's gonna happen on this side, we're not using legs. We're gonna be using one of these drawers, which is a completely different thing in Ikea's catalog as well. And then we have these little adjuster things that will screw into the top of the desk and give you like a little pigeonhole kind of thing under this, all right? And then obviously we adjust everything to the height we want by the legs and then these are adjustable too. So we can make the desk at the perfect height. And then for monitors and stuff, I'm actually going to be using one of those um, special like visa mounts or versa mounts that clamps onto the back of the desk and then I can move them all around with the arms. So it's gonna be really cool. A lot of space, I'm pumped. Anyways, back to drilling holes and stuff. Do you guys like my new desk? Look, my knees are actually perfectly level here. See this? This is what you want. You want a good desk. Bam, perfect height. Also, I have this nice pole here that I can do things with. My socks and feet. Yeah, good times. I love it. And I've got a little pigeonhole here. You can store paperwork that I don't care about under this side. Over here, see? This is gonna somehow come on my side. Yeah, probably. Your chest of drawers will be over there though, right? No. Or there? Yes. You want yours there, opposite of mine? It's so long, I love it. And then when we get the monitors on like the frame and stuff here, it's gonna be perfect. So we're gonna have two back to back, obviously May's side will be there so she can freely move in and out of the office while I'm like doing a stream and stuff. And I'm gonna put up like a green screen here. So it's gonna be sick. I didn't end up getting rid of the brute box because we'll wait for that. I'm just pumped because I'll be able to actually set up my sim and stuff. There's probably enough room for me to like have my keyboard and mouse here and then maybe set up the wheel here. Nah, mm, mm, I don't know. We'll play around with it. It's not a big deal. I'm just excited. So a pretty big update. I'm all set up now. May's all set up. How is it? Do you like your desk? It's pretty good, right? Look at this. The only thing I need to do now is uh, get rid of the bride box and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, clean this whole corner up. And same with that corner and like get the parts all organized. I think what I'm gonna do is try and get like another one of these racks. I need to obviously organize this whole rack too and sort everything else out there. But yeah, we're all set up, ready to roll, ready to play some games. I'm pumped. We definitely need like a different light. This fluoro light just kind of like, it's not good for what I'm gonna wanna do. So we're gonna get something that like, you know, has several different lights on a rail and we can kind of point in directions and get some backlight and stuff happening with the camera in the stream. But otherwise, we're super happy. 
I'm super happy. I'm exhausted. You're exhausted too. Yeah, it took us several hours to do this. It wasn't several hours. It was like half of a day. Half of a day, yeah. So, yeah. But overall, the results speak for themselves. We kind of made, like, the length of these is just so good. Mm, so good. Yeah. And once I get my different monitor mounts, it's going to be awesome too. May's going to also get a two, two or one extra monitor as well. So her desk will be filled out too. The only thing that sucks are like, you know, seeing all the cables and stuff. So I want to get some uh, cable ties and whatnot and just tidy everything up and then it'll be so much better. But yeah, that's it. Super, super easy. Um, well, I guess as long as you've got the time to do it. Um, and these things here are like all adjustable, very easy to kind of build and you get a full set of drawers here too. It's just like... I don't know, it's a no-brainer in my opinion. This desk is uh, pretty cool. Got the rig down there, so I mean, I could put it actually up in behind in this section here um, if I wanted to get it up off the floor. Um, but uh, I think down there is fine for now. Um, and as you can see, the cable mess is kind of like surreal, so we need to definitely get some cable ties sorted out. I also need some longer cables for like this monitor and stuff. Um, I'm probably changing these two monitors too to the same brand as the Acer one, the 144 hertz display I have, so that they've got the same bezels and stuff, and it'll all match up much nicer, and I'll give these two to me probably. But yeah, that's that. I'm going to play some COD now and chill. Hopefully you guys are on Twitch and we get to hang out. A fair few weeks have passed, and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on the setup. Things have changed a lot, especially with my monitor array and the arms. Please ignore the cable management mess. I am waiting for a bunch of really cool um, cable management like uh, like ties to come that I'm going to use to manage everything. Also, I've had to order different lengths of cables and stuff, so things will be neater. Like you can see that this is pretty tight down there because that's the only way it would reach. It couldn't go along the arms and down. So. This is this is the setup, boys. Um, it it's so good. So we've got the 144 Acer gaming monitor here in the center, and then I got the same model, but just the 75 hertz ones. So they're kind of like the normal ones, but they all match, same bezels and everything, and it looks so good. I also got myself a nice little gaming chair which is great. And yes, before you ask, it does go completely flat like a bed. It's got the full footrest here too, hang on, look, and then this pulls out like that, so you can put your feet up, it's it's seriously amazing, I can't believe gaming has come this far, honestly, it's kind of mental, um, I got my webcam mounted with a special thing that comes off the VESA mount here, so you can see there, it kind of like clamps onto that, and then supports the light and the webcam for streaming, and that's pretty much it, like, very simple setup, works super well, and uh, now that I'm actually like sitting level at the computer and the monitors are at the correct height and I don't have to bend my neck and stuff, I'm playing so much better online on, on my Twitch and just Call of Duty is just, it's so much easier to line up my shots. My arms don't get cramped when using the mouse and everything. It is great. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. May's side's a little bit hectic too. She's got a bunch of stuff going on, but uh, she uses my gaming laptop, which is under all this stuff with those two monitors and she uses her MacBook there too as well sometimes. So she's pretty busy and whatnot. You can see my side's somehow cleaner than hers, except all of this is my junk and parts. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on building this desk. I do have Serena Chan's uh, YouTube channel linked in the description. If you want to know more like in depth on like how we built the desk that we do if you live here in Japan and whatnot, as, or maybe you're overseas and you can get the same stuff uh, like parts at your IKEA, um, definitely check it out. In her description of the video is all the information and links to the physical items at IKEA as well. Um, people are texting me. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next upload, whether it be on the main channel or here on Salmon Raw. There should be some more raw drifting videos coming from Itzuri and stuff. Um, and uh, I think that's about it. There's a few other things that will probably be coming on Salmon Raw. I'm also trying to plan maybe like a once a month podcast thing, but we'll see. Anyways, guys, with that, smash that like button, raise the comment, and subscribe. And do me a favor, uh, at some point, just watch all the videos and let them play and mute them in the background so we can get some watch time up on this channel to unlock all the features. And I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Well, you know what I mean, next video. Peace out, ciao mata.